This exercise will help you understand the concept of the metadata of endpoints. Pause this video to go through the requirements of this question. We explain one neat solution to this problem. The solution is based on metadata of the route endpoints. Let us see all these steps one by one. But before that we request you to share and like this video. Press the bell icon to get notified of our new videos as we release them. If you find ASP.NET Core interesting and wish to learn it further, then you can write to us for the course details. We provide online classes on Skype and Zoom platforms. You can learn directly from the experienced developers who are behind all the content you are watching. The An attribute class is used to hold metadata properties. Let us understand the various parts of an attribute class. Attribute usage is an optional item. It is used to declare the locations where this attribute can be applied. One location is a method, another is a class, and so on. In our case, we shall apply it to methods. The class should inherit from the attribute base class. And the name of the class should itself be suffixed in attribute like limited attribute. This is the property for our current requirements. It is set in the constructor of the class. This attribute can now be applied to all the concerned action methods. This is our controller with an action method. Things have been kept simple for ease of explanation. The attribute has been applied here, and it can be applied to any method in any controller, wherever required. The attribute gets attached as metadata to the root slash home slash index. The metadata can be extracted later on, as we are going to explain in the next step. Now we come to the application pipeline where we have to read the attached metadata. The MSDN documentation recommends that a middleware should be inserted between use routing and use endpoints. This inserted component will read the metadata associated with the matched route. Next, let us have a look at the completed code. This adds the MVC service. Our new middleware component has been inserted here. For this the use extension has been used, which we have already discussed in Lecture 5. Get the endpoint from the context. Here we extract the metadata that we added to the action method. If the time is between 17 and 18 hours, redirect and short circuit the pipeline. Otherwise, pass the context to the next component. This is the map controller route that we have already discussed in our previous lecture. And these are our attribute and controller classes.
The source code can be obtained from the blog page mentioned in the description below. Thank you.